see yourself in five years as an artist? Five years, I want to be... I just really want to be one of those guys at the top. You know, as far as the as far as the music industry, and I ain't stopping until I get the, you know, just a just a snap in the game. My name to be remembered as far as this music, cause I ain't giving up on it. Who would you say your style is like, or what sets you apart mm -hmm. from the acts that are out today? Really, just being original. I don't try to sound like anybody. Like I feel like a lot of dudes sound the same, and they 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 go with what's hot. Like, I believe in just being real because that's not no trend, no fad that never go out of style. So that's that's what I maintain and that's what I like to keep doing. We're going to switch gears a little bit. And mm -hmm. um, in some pop culture news, The Game, the rapper The Game, mm -hmm. he's the first cannabis celebrity to own a legal um, marijuana dispensary. Yeah. How do you feel about the legalization of marijuana? It's, it's smart. I, I would like to get into that myself. I have sold it illegal for a long time. <laughs> like, hey, you know, they make millions off of it. So it's all about the money. What What was that lifestyle like? You being a um, drug dealer. You know, everybody know what what come with that is 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 dangerous. You know, we'd had messed up times from it, and you know. They made it through it. Like it's, 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 it's tough, but you know, you just roll with it. What is um, the most life changing event that has happened to you? Um, I would say my grandmama dying, cause that's that's really the first death in my family. Like I I ain't never really lost no family members. I lost friends and stuff like that. But yeah, that was that was different for me, cause I'm really the only man in my family, so I'm the dude that my family lean on. I have to stand up in a lot of situations, and that just that just really made me more strong. God don't put you through nothing you can't handle. How did the loss of your grandmother affect you as a person? Um, really just having to be there for my family more. You know, she was the backbone of my family. You know, they went to her for everything. Now, they come to me. So, you know, I feel that role. You are a father? Yeah. What do you teach your boys, your girls? I got one boy and three girls. What do you teach them about coming up in this world and as young black children with all this going on, especially mm -hmm. having a young black son? Oh uh, man, me and my me and my daughters and my son, like I have real talk with them. I don't sugarcoat nothing as far as you know, I, I go off their personality. Like my daughter Zari, she uh she one of them girls who think, you know, everything is just beautiful. Like I can tell she got the kind of heart that People will try to get over on her when she when she older. She's just a nice person, so you know I have to talk. I have to talk to her about that. My daughter Lee, I gotta talk to her about you know, as far as family and you know stuff like that. Cause you know her mama and them sad ratchet. <laughs> we, <laughs> we cool. We cool though. They know that. They want to say ratchet. You know, just teach her how to be different. Always had class and. You know, never try to be like nobody else. I talk to them about the real stuff that's going on out here. Do you got groupies yet? I mean, I done had groupies since I was 10. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So how was that lifestyle for you? Um, I've been used to this forever, Brandon. You know what I'm saying? I was best dressed in East High four years in a row. You know what I mean? <laughs> so what was it like going to East High? I hear it's a rather... Um, um, interesting and in school. You know, you know what it's like going these. <laughs> we had riots. riots. They all, oh yeah, they almost ain't graduated from East High. We was man, we was fighting almost every day. They wouldn't let me go to see the point at the end of the year, man. Did you deserve to go? To I see had the a point? fresh outfit for see the point. Oh my god. Yeah, I deserved it. I didn't start. I didn't start nothing. But they ain't let me go. They tried to expel me for that. Who is your celebrity crush? Um, I love Nikki. Minaj? Yeah. Interesting. I love Nikki. I love Kelly Rowland. Um, I used to like Trina when I was little. I don't like her no more. Them Kardashians, I ain't into them at all either. Not one Kardashian? Not one Kardashian. So how they you too, They too fake. 